Hey everybody, talking about Ecclesiastes today. The book of Ecclesiastes was written by Solomon. And if you know anything about Solomon, you probably know that the Bible calls him a very wise king. Solomon had wisdom and he had riches. Solomon was very, very wealthy. And in the beginning of the book of, book of uh, Ecclesiastes, Solomon says, everything is meaningless. And, and here's the preface. So he starts off his book by saying, here's what I did with my life. He says, first I decided that it seemed meaningless to, to waste a life. So I decided to pursue happiness. I pursued happiness with my riches. I pursued happiness with my looks. I pursued happiness with anything that I could find that would make me happy. You know what? I think that's everybody's story. We all try and do things that make us happy. We 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 hang out with friends that make us happy. We buy things that make us happy. We ask for Christmas presents that will make us happy. Solomon did this. He he looked for things that would make him happy. And at the end of it, he says it was all meaningless. It was like chasing after the wind. You yeah, oh, I'm going to catch the wind. No, you're not. It was like chasing like like just gone. I wanted happiness, but I couldn't find it. It was always a little bit elusive. You ever get a sweet present for Christmas? Something that you really, really, really wanted. Think about the earliest present that you can think of asking for that you really, really wanted. If you were pretty young, it probably doesn't mean a lot to you anymore. Oh, I really want it. I can tell you what I wanted. Quick story time. I wanted a fire truck. I don't remember what birthday. I think it was my seventh birthday. I wanted a fire truck so, so bad. And I was very particular. I didn't just want some fire truck. I had seen a specific fire truck that was, it was like big. It was like this big, massive fire truck. And the lights worked on it and it was awesome. And I wanted that fire truck. I don't know what that cost to this day. But I remember it being a, a big deal. It was, it was an expensive present. And my parents, they got it for me because it was important to me. You know where that fire truck is now? It got destroyed because a neighbor kid years later was like, let's bring out our trucks and just like run them as fast as we can. And so by the end of it, we, were, we just destroyed that truck. Super, super sad. See, I didn't care about it like I used to. I didn't care about it in the way that I did when I first asked for it. I thought that that truck would bring me happiness, and, and truth of the matter is, it did for a time. But chasing happiness is like chasing the wind. Yeah, you, you, oh, I got it. No, I don't anymore. Chasing happiness is elusive, it's, it's gone. It's here one moment and it's gone the next. The thing that makes you happy today won't necessarily make you happy tomorrow or a week from now. And that's going to be true for the rest of your life. The things that you think will make you happy. Oh, if I could just get a really good grade, that'll make you happy for a time. But it's like chasing the wind. You can't catch it. Oh, if I can... If I can ha hang out with these friends, that'll make me happy. And it will for a time, but it's elusive. It's like chasing the wind. It'll get away from you. Oh, if I can, as you grow up, if I can graduate high school and be done with this, I re I, then I'd be happy. And you will for a time. But it's elusive and it'll get away from you. You'll find yourself unhappy again. Oh, if I could just date that girl. Oh, then I'd be happy. If I could get this job, then I'd be happy. If I could marry this person, then I'd be happy. It's all elusive, though. It gets away from you. Happiness runs away from you. If you've ever been really happy for a moment, ask yourself if you've been unhappy since then. And it's not necessarily because you lost the thing that made you happy, is it? Well, I was really happy because I got that fire truck and now I'm unhappy. Why, did you lose the fire truck? N no. No. Because the nature of happiness is elusive. It runs away. Because happiness was never meant to be the goal that we chase down. 
Here's what Solomon says in, in, in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. He says, here's the end of it then. Happiness was never the thing I was supposed to chase. My law in life was simply to do what the Lord required of me. Do God's will and find joy in doing God's will. Because happiness, every single thing you find that gives you happiness will be elusive. Not because the thing goes away, but just because you'll get discontented with it. So instead, find your happiness, find your joy in serving the Lord, Solomon says. Here's the end of it. That's the end of it for all of us. The only real lasting joy comes from the Lord. It comes from serving God and doing what he desires. You can be like Solomon and you can waste your life trying to find that happiness, but I'm telling you, it's elusive. Think about what you really want today and if that'll make you happy. And then mark it in your brain so that when you get it and you're happy, kind of take a check mark. How long does it take you till the next time you're unhappy? I bet it's not very long. I bet it's not very long. If you wonder if this is true or not, look at a little kid on their birthday. How often do kids have birthdays that should be such a great day? And by the end of it, they're bawling and they're sad and they're angry and they're just everything's disappointing. Because happiness is elusive. Happiness is like chasing the wind. You can only oh, grab it and it's gone. But serving the Lord is forever. Serving the Lord can bring you real joy for a very very long time for the rest of your life. So be like Solomon in this, learn where real joy comes from, but don't be like Solomon. Don't waste a lifetime chasing the wrong thing. Until next time, make sure you watch the Buck Denver videos. They're going to be talking about Ecclesiastes. They'll go into a little more detail on the book and uh, have a wonderful week and God bless.